Jenna, they just sat in the car. Jets in London is meeting us there. Wait, what is meeting you at the airport? Yeah. They no way. London. I know, but like... Thank God, we've got, we've got all my cases in the car. I've got no room for anyone else. Oh, how many cases Packed have you so got? Much. Three. No, you haven't. You're like, you're like, you like her. So no, you haven't. Yeah. Between you. My dad's got one on his own. You're joking. I'm going for a month, mum. You're going for nine days. Yeah, you're right, dad. Case first. Let's go to case today. <laughs> I've got about so nine pairs of shoes. She's got so. two suitcases. And That's they're ridiculous. Packed. I think they're overweight. One for a makeup. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> big nowadays. Wait, what? You're making me think I've not got enough no, for a month. No, because I just, I just don't know what the weather's going to be like. I just want to pack well, make sure I've got everything. I don't want to not have something, and I don't want to buy anything there. So. I don't want to spend unnecessary money. Okay. Good. <laughs> I want to spend it all on food and drink. So, let's go. Come on, we're late. Good evening, everyone. It is half past 10 right now. It's literally... Oh, wait, can you see that? Nope, you're not seeing anything, so that is not good. But can you just take my word that it is actually half past 10 right now at night? It's super late. I know I haven't vlogged anything today, but honestly, today has been the most manic day. As you guys would have seen in the title of this video, and you should know by now, I am in fact going on holiday and I can't even explain my excitement. I've missed the holiday vlogs. To be fair, I know I vlogged in Arizona not that long ago, but this vlog is going to be so exciting because I'm actually going away with my family which I cannot wait for as you guys would have seen this morning though my parents and Jed flew out today however that has not gone to plan so basically long story short right I'm gonna give you a rundown as to what my trip is first plan was to go away with my family for 10 days so basically we are flying to San Francisco and then we're spending five days in San Francisco from San Francisco, we're gonna do a road trip and my dad is gonna drive, don't know if it's up or down, actually. I'm not actually sure if San Francisco is below or above LA. I need to find that out. But either way, he's gonna drive to LA and then I'm gonna spend five days in LA with my family. My family are then gonna go home and then my friends Anastasia and Jake are coming out to LA. And then I'm gonna spend another, I think it's like 10 days in LA with them. Then we're gonna go to Coachella together. Then we're going back to LA and then finally we're finishing the trip with Vegas. <gasps> Vegas, oh, I'm so excited. It's actually going to be mental. Oh, I cannot wait. So that is my trip, basically. I'm so excited for all of it for so many different reasons, but I can't even explain how excited I am just to go away with my family. I feel like none of us have had a very good start to the year at all. Like, there's so many things, as you guys would know from my vlogs and stuff, that just haven't really been the best. Like, everything seems to go wrong. Um, saying that, my family family have had a day from hell. So my family were meant to fly out to San Francisco today and I was meant to be meeting them there tomorrow. Reason being is because originally I had work in London that I couldn't get out of. And so I said to them like, there's no point in changing like plans and stuff. You guys still fly out on that day and I'll meet you a day after because I didn't want them to have to miss out on a day because I had work. And to be honest, I'm so used to flying by myself now and that's fine. It doesn't really bother me. To be honest, I actually quite like flying by myself. I mean, of course, of course I would have loved to have gone with my family. Actually, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. Normally I would have, but not in this case. So anyways, yeah, my family flew out today and I was meant to be meeting them tomorrow. My parents and Jed were stuck on the flight and they didn't leave today for eight hours. Like how insane is that? Eight hours they sat on the flight today, didn't move. And guys, they still haven't left. They've been taken off of the plane and been told that they can't fly tonight and that they're going to try tomorrow to get them on a flight. And the words try. So it's not even guaranteed that they're going to be flying tomorrow. Obviously, we've got like all fingers crossed. I feel so bad for them. They also said as well that when they was on the plane, like they didn't get any food or anything and they, they were so hungry. They said that everybody was kicking off. My mum actually texted and she was like, honestly, I'm so hungry. I'm so tired. I can't believe this. She was like, but the cabin crew do not deserve to be getting like the hate that they get it. Not hate, but like apparently everyone was being so rude to them and my mum was like, I feel so bad for them because obviously it's not their fault at all. But yeah, like one cabin crew came on and then it was their shift over. And so another cabin crew came on, which is just insane. That's how long they were literally sat there for. I don't really know how that works because the flight is normally 11 and a half hours. So I'm not really sure how that worked. But mum said that two sets of cabin crew came on. I think that's just why I love my family so much because they're just so lovely. And we would never shout at the cabin crew and stuff. I don't really get why people do that. Like it's not their fault at all. So yeah, it's been a really bad day. They they were so excited as you would have seen this morning and then everything's just gone pear-shaped to top it off as well they don't even get their luggage so obviously the um the flight company has put them in a hotel 
However, they said that the, sh the hotel is not nice at all. They said that there was a nice hotel that they asked to stay in, but apparently only people in first class are being put in there. I was like, oh, that makes you feel amazing, I bet. And yeah, they don't get any of their luggage. So they have no change of clothes, no deodorant. My mom just sent me the funniest text. She went, and to top it off, I just realized I don't have a makeup bag. I can't wash off my makeup and I'm gonna have no eyebrows in the morning. <laughs> so actually bless her heart. I feel so bad for her. Well, obviously I feel so bad for all of them. But yeah, I literally can't believe it. Like I was so envious of my family because they were flying out a day before me. I was like, oh, I'm so jealous. Like you guys are gonna have a day before me before I get there. They're not there. And in fact, I am actually going to land there before they will. And what's funny is when they was like half an hour late, as a joke, I text them and I was like, I'm gonna beat you there. Look what's gonna happen. At least I hope it's gonna happen because if not, then something wrong is gonna go with my flight. Fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. Fingers crossed tomorrow is a new day. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, we are gonna have an amazing trip once we all finally get there. So yeah, I'm excited to vlog tomorrow. I'm literally gonna see my family at the airport now which is so weird. I don't know, I was expecting to just do it all alone, but I will definitely see my family there because their flight is actually after mine. They can't get on my flight because my flight's completely full. So, oh, I feel so bad. Like, honestly, it's one of those, well, they're kind of like, if you don't laugh, you'll cry because they're now laughing at it. But also I think they're like, so just so upset at like how they've just sat there for eight hours to not move and then just to get off. But anyways, hopefully this vlog gets a little bit better than that. And I'm so sorry for rambling on, but I'm so excited for all of the next vlogs. I'm gonna be vlogging the entire trip. There's so many good vlogs to come, but yeah, I'm excited for this vlog. I shall get some sleep. I'm in my pajamas. I am all ready for bed and I will see you bright and early in the morning night thought i would give you guys a documentary from my mum <laughs> so this has been the longest day in the world ever for us we are back in square one back in uh, we're in a hotel now in heathrow which is amazing um, no i get it it happens shit happens there was a fault on the plane um they tried to fix it there was another fault on the plane i'd definitely rather not be on that plane i'd rather be here in this hotel than on a plane with a fault so that's fine i know it happens and i get it and it's fine but we haven't got our cases back so we're now staying in a hotel with nothing and like normally i'd pack my makeup stuff in my case my little case that i take on but i just didn't for some reason i didn't pack anything i literally just have my handbag and nothing else really in it so i've got nothing i haven't got a hairbrush you know this guy that we were talking to went oh let me get you some little packs hang on a minute and it's like with any people that got these he goes let me give you this it's like um, a change of clothes it's t-shirt and it's got like a little toothbrush i mean this is what i'll be brushing my teeth with tomorrow <laughs> this is what i'll be combing my hair with tomorrow i don't even have a hairbrush <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what we're gonna look like tomorrow. We're gonna stink. We're gonna, we're gonna have the same clothes on. Um, yeah, it's gonna be like the smelliest plane that ever took off from anywhere because no one's got anything. It's just literally, you couldn't write it. Anyway, let's hope tomorrow goes better. Yeah, basically it's a race now as to who can get there first because my flight's now delayed. So honestly, you could still get there first. No, we won't. You never know. We're you on the same know. plane as yesterday. We're not making it. <laughs> yeah, don't say that. No, I mean we don't won't take that. off. I mean we won't take off. <laughs> I am so fidgety, I don't know what to do, and 
and I don't know what it is. I can't watch a movie on a flight. I don't even know how much you can hear me right now. But I literally can't watch a movie on a flight because the second I do, I fall asleep. So I tried to watch the Harry Potters and it, it didn't work. Basically, I, I don't know why, right? I'm wide awake right now. I have so much energy. I put on a movie on the plane and I will literally fall asleep. But like, if I went to the cinema, if I watch a movie at home, I'll never fall asleep. So I don't know what to do with myself. I've been playing chess for the past hour. I do thoroughly enjoy it, but I'm now a bit bored of it. Like my brain is like deeply frazzled. I've been texting Jed because he's also got Wi-Fi. What's that? Oh, we're allowed to get up. Um, I just ordered myself a green tea. I really wish like I bought some eye mask or something. Like, why didn't I do that? I could be doing self-care right now, but instead I'm just bored scrolling on my phone, doing a bit of online shopping, but not really, just adding things in the basket to not buy it. Got my green tea. Oh, I'm actually buzzing. She bought snacks. This is what I don't understand, right? Why on short haul flights can you buy snacks? But on long haul flights you can't. It baffles me. Like, yes, I know I've just eaten a three course meal, but I'm bored. And quite frankly, what I love doing when I'm bored is eating. Maybe I keep ordering green tea so I keep getting shortbread biscuits. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. I feel like my mum would be so proud. I got here in one piece by myself. I have in fact arrived in San Francisco. There is so much to update you on. I feel like I said that at the beginning of this vlog before um, I even set off to go, but guys, there was still so much flight drama that did happen. So my flight was delayed three hours. And at one point, honest to God, I thought the exact same thing that's happened to my parents is actually happening to me. Like I'm gonna be stuck on this plane for goodness knows how long. And then they're gonna tell me that I can't fly. And then to top it off, when I was up in the air, so I did get Wi-Fi, so I could actually speak to my family. They didn't take off, they was three hours delayed. I literally thought, no, it can't happen again. Like it literally can't. My mom said that everyone was cheering Hearing, um, when they took off and even when they landed because quite frankly no one could even believe that they were going in fact she even said when they were boarding everyone was cheering because they were like thank goodness because obviously it was everyone from the same flight that tried to get the flight the day before but anyways we're all here we're safe and sound I think we all felt so grateful for this family trip but now even more so, like quite frankly, at one point I did not think we were gonna be coming. So yeah, I'm just really excited. My family have just landed, so they are gonna make their way to the hotel soon, but we are in fact staying in one of my favorite hotels in the whole world. It's called The One Hotel. It's where I stay when I go to Miami. It's where I stay when I go to LA. It's definitely more on the expensive side. So we were actually, doing a very intimate family trip. And we've got two king beds in one room. Jed is not gonna, Jed is not gonna be feeling that. Jed is not gonna share a bed with me. So it's gonna be me and my mum um, and my dad and Jed sharing a bed. But yeah, I'm just so excited to be here. I actually can't believe it. So in a minute, I am gonna give you a room tour before obviously my family get here. I also wanna do a workout before they get here as well because I ate so much on the plane. I can't even tell you guys, like I was just eating bread like it was going out of fashion. The amount of bread that I've consumed on that plane and like every snack they offered me, I took. And bear in mind I took snacks, but I was so bored. Like I think I went delirious at one point. I'm pretty sure I was dancing in the vlog. But I'm here now, so I need to get my energy out. It's weird, like I don't know how I have so much energy because at home it's like 3 a.m. in the morning. But I think I'm just so excited to be here and just so happy that we've actually made it. And it's actually quite good because we want to stay up, we want to go out and we want to get straight into this time zone. So yeah, I'm excited to see my family, but I'm going to give you a room tour. Oh, and also I want to show you what I bought um, at Heathrow because I am so excited about this. So I purchased a new perfume. In fact, I actually bought two perfumes at Heathrow because obviously duty free, everything's discounted. But then I got another 20% off as well. I had a 20% off voucher and duty free. This is the best smelling perfume in the world. I wanted to invest in a new perfume. I love investing in like expensive perfumes that do last because I am like obsessed with smelling nice. I've said this so many times. I don't know, like, yeah. I just think it's the most attractive thing to the point where like, if somebody smells nice in the streets, 
I would literally have to cross over and tell them they smell good. Or like, well, I probably can't smell them if they're like from the other side of the street, but you get what I'm saying. So anyways, I invested in this perfume. It's by Penhaligons, which to be honest, like all of Penhaligons perfumes are just incredible. But this is, I don't know how to pronounce it and I'm definitely gonna pronounce it wrong. Halfetti Leather. Oh my goodness, it's insane. It's got like an oody smell, but it's like really sweet and oh, it's just absolutely delicious. So very excited, I'm gonna put this on after my gym sesh. Then I also got this Dior perfume as well. I really can't believe that I bought both. I really can't. It's really bad. Like I don't, I should not be spending this much money on perfume, but I do actually truly love it. And also I felt like the discount was actually really quite big. So it would kind of also be stupid not to, you know? So, and I was at the airport by myself, so I had no one to tell me that I shouldn't do that. So I did it, okay guys, I splurged. So I got the Christian Dior Oud. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but this is another like Oudy smell, but this is like, I don't wanna say stronger because this one's actually a really strong smell, but like it's, I don't know, like darker? Like this is sweeter. That's basically what I'm trying to say, but they're both absolutely Gorgeous, so I'm so excited about that But I've also got to hide this one from my mum because when she finds out that I bought two perfumes She is not gonna be happy. Isn't it funny how like doesn't matter how old I get there's some things that I'm like my mum's gonna tell me off <laughs> I'm 22. I should not be scared of my mum telling me off, but I am Anyways, I'm gonna quickly just tidy the mess that I've made and I'm going to give you a room tour. Okay, I don't know how much people enjoy room tours, so I'm gonna do it quickly. This is our bathroom that I'm very quickly already making home with my huge makeup bag, like guys. How ridiculous is that? Like, <laughs> but to be fair, I'm here a month, okay? So give me a break. So this is the bathroom. It's lovely, I love a good shower head over here and everything's just so like aesthetically pleasing i can't even explain it reminds me of my house this hotel i think that's why i love it i've just hung up my bag and my coat um, and obviously i have three suitcases as i've mentioned before so um, we're not gonna have too much room but this is the room situation these are the beds they're lovely and big yeah i mean there's not really much to show you the hotel is just very minimalistic but i just oh i love it and then we have a full length mirror, which is cute. And I'm gonna um, change into my gym stuff right now. Go hit a workout. Why have I got so much energy? I don't know why I've got so much energy. What am I actually doing? I'm so strange. Anyways, my mum just rang me. They've landed. They're getting in an Uber now. So I'm so excited. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a more body giving sin of views. I'm just saying I'm a mute. But you ain't even Guys, you could not write it. My dad's suitcase hasn't even left the UK. It's so weird, like this year, the like bad luck that my family has had is like insane. Like we can't have any more bad luck. It's like, he's the one case that's been left on the whole plane. Of course it was, it was my dad's. And the thing is like, I just spoke to him on the phone and he's like, I know it's not anyone's fault, but obviously he's just so upset because he now doesn't have a case and they're saying to us, oh, we're gonna try and get it to you before you leave San Francisco, which is five days away. So you'd think they'd just get it to us tomorrow. But anyways, they're gonna try and get it to us by the time that we leave. So I just, I literally feel so terrible for him. I can't even, I don't want this to be a negative. Oh, I was just so excited, but now I just, oh, I feel awful. I feel so bad. Like I'd, I'd rather it be my cases. Honestly, I would actually rather it be my cases than my dad's. I just I can't believe it. Oh, I don't want this to be negative, but like guys, everything this year has gone wrong. Not gonna lie. Can only go up though. At least it can only go up from here. I think I literally can't think of anything else that could happen at this point because everything has happened. Everything. Yay! Just tell you something, guys. When I was on the way here, yeah, I was thinking to myself, like, oh, we're actually so lucky that we've all taken off. Then when we landed, I didn't hear from you that you had landed or like any update. And I was like, oh my God, like imagine if something bad had happened, but I was trying not to overthink it. Then I thought to myself, not that we're gonna have, like not that we argue all the time, but when we're <laughs> all four together, sometimes we have different opinions on like what we want to do and stuff. And I thought, do you know yeah, what? Exactly. I want to do whatever exactly. anyone else wants this whole trip. Is there only one person that has a different opinion? She's in the toilet. 
Yeah, that's I true. I was going to say, I'm to be honest, nowadays I am going to be my Yeah, but Jed, you do, you do, you're, you're the argumentative person. Are you joking? Jed's the, the one that gets stroppy, isn't he? Oh, I don't think so. Do you, I, I don't think I'm probably so. the most chilled I'm out person. Not when we go on holiday. And I think I'm quite chilled as well, but no. not, not having any clothes don't help though. I think on holiday, okay, on holiday I feel like we'd be a bit. On okay, holiday, I used to, when I was younger, just want to sit in the room. So yes, I, I, exactly. I wasn't really... Mum's having a shower. Oh, and she lucky she's got some new clothes to put it on. <laughs> she is lucky, yeah. Because yeah. there's so many of us, and because there's got a lot of cases, yeah. <laughs> let's try and keep on top of it and keep it tidy. Yeah, we are going to try and keep it tidy. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think people are going to think we're weird staying in this little round together. <laughs> I, I, thought that that. Too. I thought that too. I thought that too. I have explained to the vloggers oh, to why we're all sharing a room. Actually, I haven't fully explained, oh. guys. So. All my toiletries are in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're joking. I you got all my stuff, though. But oh. can I just quickly say oh, something yeah. to the vlog? Wait, are my toes in my... your video, sir? Sir, so are my toes in your vlog? Sir, sir, are my toes in your vlog? No, you take your toes on in my vlog. Okay. Right, so, guys, I thought I'd give you another um, thing that went wrong as well. I didn't actually tell my family until it got approved. But basically, I actually booked the wrong dates for the hotel as well. I booked it for April, not March. You know, I said to you, Mum, when I saw you earlier at the airport, I was like, oh, but it's all been approved. I get on the flight and I thought it was like being approved, but it still hadn't been approved. No. Like, because the booking.com had to speak to the hotel, then it had to get confirmed. Booking.com so had to confirmed us, it. Booking.com had confirmed it, but the hotel hadn't. So I got I... here and I still didn't have a reservation. I thought, so thank God I'm not flight... with them. So what if our flight was on time? If your flight was on time and you got here, you'd have no hotel, yes. But anyways, it's fine. No so we're in a hotel. And no clothes. The only that room that was fantastic. left was two double beds in a room. <laughs> yes, it is what it is. It's a little bit weird, but it's fine. Not weird, is it? We're family. It's not weird. We're family, we but don't think we would. It's weird, but other people, weirdos. But weird. <laughs> other we, people we, are weirdos. Think it's weird. Yeah. My dad is a little bit sad, but to no, be I fair, know. he's actually a trooper. Yeah, mum's sad because she's. What, she, what have you left in there? He's a trooper for your. I don't, I don't even know why. She, see. If mum didn't put that in there, my case would have gone through because it was overweight. <laughs> exactly it's what? Powerful. I've actually got my menopause cream in there, so you need to be careful. Because what I do you mean? The, the gel. Mom, I can't hear because that. Gel. Wait, what's gel going to do for the menopause? You, you just put it on, it makes you not be stressy. And... No, you're joking. That's, That's why not you've a been thing. so stressy all the time. That's not a I've thing. I've been saying it to Surely. mum. She is the most stressy person I've ever met. Wait, really? You've She's been so stressy. stressy. Yeah. Yes, you are. Second we've got to Heathrow, you're stressy. <laughs> Did you forget to put your gel on that day? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was, uh, hold on. And on that I was, note, guys. No, 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 hold on. I was queuing up behind Dad in the, to go to the toilet on the plane, all right? Mm -hmm. oh, I see. kid you not, I was behind him. Mm -hmm. We're talking normally. He gets in the toilet. I waited there for 15 minutes <laughs> and he was still in there. Yeah, I started was. kicking the door and he wasn't coming out, making no noise. So I left. After I go, was you just trying to piss me off or something because you just weren't leaving the toilet? And he goes, but I was brushing my teeth. I thought, blood, like, what exactly, are you? Exactly, exactly. Who brushed your teeth for 15 minutes though? Do you know what I mean? Keep them nice and clean, didn't you? The old pearly white's got to stay white. I feel like we're from Cheaper by the Dozen at this point because there's just, there's a lot going on. I've actually had to come to the bathroom so you can hear me. I'm going to end this vlog here though because I don't really know what this vlog consists of. Tomorrow's a new day. It's going to be a good day. I'm very excited. Um, we're doing something so exciting tomorrow so I actually cannot wait. I'm going to shower. I'm going to brush my teeth somehow. I'm going to get a toothbrush and I shall see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.